Hello everyone. Here we are going to continue with exercise 9.3 of the chapter Direct and Inverse Variation. We have already did till question number 4 in our previous video. Now let's do question number 5. Here in this question we have A can do a piece of work in 40 days. He works at it for 8 days and then B finishes the remaining work in 16 days. How long will they take to complete the work if they work together. Now here in this question A's one day work is 1 upon 40 as is able to complete the whole work in 40 days. If 40 days in pure kaam ko complete kar sakta. That's why A's one day work is 1 upon 40. Ab 8 days tak A ne akele kaam kiya hai. So A's 8 day work equals to 8 into 1 upon 40. Isse cancel out karega 5 times. So this is 1 upon 5. Matlab A ne 1 upon 5 part of the work complete kar diya. Now the remaining work so for the remaining work, as we know, the total work is taken as 1. So 1 minus 1 upon 5. By taking LCM, we will be having 5 over here. So 5 minus 1, that is equals to 4 upon 5. 4 upon 5 part of the work is still left. Or is kaam ko ab b akele karne wala. And that too in 16 days. So b's one day work equals to here. This is the part of the work which is going to be completed by b in 16 days. So this is. 4 upon 5 into 1 upon 16. Here we are going to cancel it out. It is equals to 4. So it is equals to 1 upon 20. So B's one day work is 20. This means that B is going to complete this whole work in 20 days. Now if the A and B both are going to work together. So working together it will be equals to 1 upon 40 plus 1 upon 20. We can add the efficiency of the work for both A and B. And here the LCM is 40. So here we have 1 plus 2. That is equal to 3 upon 40. So 3 upon 40 part of the work is completed by them working together in a single day. Now the time taken by them to complete their work equals to 40 upon 3 days. That is equal to 13 whole 1 upon 3 days as answer. Now let's see question number 6. Here we have A and B separately do a work in 10 and 15 days respectively. They work together for some days and then A completed the remaining work in 5 days. For how many days A and B worked together? Now here in this question we have A's one day work as 1 upon 10 of the work and B's one day work is 1 upon 15 of the work. Now they are going to work together for some days. So very first of all we are going to find the working together. That is equals to 1 upon 10 plus 1 upon 50. And the LCM is 30. That is 3 times and 2 times. And this is equals to 5 upon 30. And this is 1 upon 6. So 1 upon 6 part of the work is completed if A and B are working together. Now in the question it has been given that A had did this work alone for the 5 days. So to further move in this question first of all we are going to find the amount of work done by A in 5 days. So A's 5 day work equals to 5 into 1 upon 10. So 5 into A's 1 day work that is equals to 1 upon 2. Now we have got the A's 5 day work which A ne kiya tha. So the left work. So here we get the work left equals to 1 minus 1 upon 2 that is equals to by LCM 2. So 2 minus 1 that is equals to 1 upon 2. Now this half of the work is going to be completed by this A and B together by the efficiency of 1 upon 6. So the time taken by them to complete the work equals to. So the time for which A and B work together equals to 1 upon 2 divided by 1 upon 6. 1 upon 2 is the part of the work left. And this is the part of the work completed by them in one day. So here we get 1 upon 2 into 6 upon 1. This is going to cancel it out by 3. So 3 days is answer. Now let's see question number 7. Here in this question we have if 3 women or 5 girls take 17 days to complete a piece of work, how long will 7 women and 11 girls working together take to complete the work? Now here in this question we have the one day work of 3 women equals to 1 upon 17 and the one day work of 5 girls equals to 1 upon 17. As it has been given 3 women or 5 girls both take 17 days to complete the work. So one day work of 3 women equals to 1 upon 17 and one day work of 5 girls equals to 1 upon 17. So, first of all, one day work of 1 woman 
सो वन डे वर्क ऑफ वन वोमेन इक्वल्स टू वन अपॉन सेवेंटीन इंटू थ्री दैट इज इक्वल्स टू वन अपॉन फिफ्टी वन ना द वन डे वर्क ऑफ वन गर्ल इक्वल्स टू वन अपॉन सेवेंटीन इंटू फाइव दैट इज इक्वल्स टू वन अपॉन एट्टी फाइव Now here we have got the one day work of one woman as one upon fifty one, and the one day work of one girl equals to one upon eighty five. Now we have to find the time taken by the seven women and eleven girls to complete the whole work. So very first of all, we are going to find the one day work of seven women and eleven girls. So one day work of seven women and eleven girls equals to seven into one upon fifty one. That is seven into the efficiency of work for the one woman plus 11 into the efficiency of the work of one girl. So 11 into 1 upon 85. Now we are going to solve it, and here we get 7 upon 51 and 11 upon 85. Now we are going to take the LCM, and the LCM of 51 and 85 is 255. Here 51 5 times, so 7 5 is 35. Plus 85 3 times, so this is 33. And this will be equals to 68 upon 255. Five. Now here they both can be reduced by seventeen, so seventeen four times and seventeen fifteen times. So this is four upon fifteen. So four upon fifteen part of the work way is going to be completed by the seven women and eleven girls in single day. So time taken by them to complete the work will be fifteen upon four days. That is equal to three whole three upon four days as answer. Now let's do question number eight. Here in this question we have A can do a job in ten days while B can do in fifteen days. If they work together and earns rupees thirty five hundred, how should they share the money? Now here in this question we have the A's one day work as one upon ten and the B's one day work is one upon fifteen of the work and the total earning made by them together is thirty five hundred. Now we have to divide this amount as The shares of A and B. So very first of all, we are going to find the ratio of the work done by A and B. So ratio of work equals to one upon ten is to one upon fifteen. Now the LCM of ten and fifteen is thirty. So this is one upon ten into thirty is to one upon fifteen into thirty. This is going to cancel it out. Do three, and this is going to cancel to give two. So this is three is to two. So the ratio of the work done by A and B is three is to two. So first of all, we are going to find the sum of ratio that is equal to three plus two. It will be five. Now A share equals to three upon five into three five zero zero. Here we get seven hundred. That is equal to rupees two one zero zero. Then B share equals to two upon five. Into three five zero zero, and here we get seven hundred, and this is rupees fourteen hundred as answer. That's all for this video. Thank you.